today we are going to read why do you cry why do you cry not a sob story by Kate Kleiss why do you cry <laughs> when little rabbit was almost five summers old he made a big decision now that I'm grown up I'm done with crying he told mother rabbit crying is for babies and I'm not a baby anymore I know you're not said mother rabbit and she agreed to help little rabbit plan his first grown-up birthday party I'm having a birthday party. Come over here. I'm having a birthday party, Little Rabbit told his friend, the squirrel. I'm inviting everyone who's big, like me, and doesn't cry anymore. Oh, said the squirrel sadly, then I guess I can't come. Why, said Little Rabbit, do you cry? Um, yes, said the squirrel. I cry when the others are playing a fun game and they don't ask me to play too. Oh, well, there he is. Woohoo. So Little Rabbit invited his friend the cat. I'm having a birthday party, he said. I'm, in, I, I'm inviting all my friends who don't cry. But I do cry said the cat. You do? asked Little Rabbit. When? Why? Why do you cry? Look, they're at the fish market. They're at the fish store. Look at all the kitties. When I'm alone and it's dark and the shadows on the wall look like big mean giants, mm, I would cry too. Finally, Little Rabbit visited his oldest, dearest friend, the horse. I know you're too old to cry, Little Rabbit began, so please come to my birthday party. You're right, I am that old, said the horse, but you're wrong if you think I never cry. You cry? asked the Little Rabbit. Why? Why do you cry, Mr. Horse? I cry when I see a snake. And when I get stung by a bee, and when I try a new hairstyle and don't like the way I look. <laughs> a lot of people cry when that happens. A lot of people cry when all those things happen. When you see a snake, or you get stung by a bee, or you get a sad haircut. Little Rabbit returned home. My first big birthday party will be very small, Little Rabbit told Mother Rabbit. Just you and me. Why? asked Mother Rabbit. Because everyone else still cries, explained Little Rabbit, and I don't want crying at my first big birthday party. Crying is for babies. Little Rabbit, said his mother gently, I can't come to your party either. Why, he asked. Because sometimes I cry, said Mother Rabbit. I like their kitchen. She's making cakes. Little Rabbit was very surprised. Why do you cry, he asked. Because I have feelings too. Sometimes I cry when I watch a sad movie or when I have a bad headache. And sometimes, Little Rabbit, I cry when I look at you. At me, he asked. Why? Because you're getting so big, his mother said. You don't cry nearly as much as you used to. I look at you and I feel so proud and happy and that can make me cry too. That makes me cry. 
But you can't cry when you're happy, said Little Rabbit, can you? Mm-hmm, Mother Rabbit said. You can cry for any reason or for no reason at all. Little Rabbit thought about this for a minute. Hmm. Okay. Then he hopped onto Mother Rabbit's lap and whispered in her ear, Even when I'm big, I'll still be your little rabbit. Good, she said. Yeah. And even when you're big, you will still need to cry once in a while. Really? asked Little Rabbit. You won't mind if I cry? Yeah. Of course not, said his mother. Will you mind if I come to your birthday party? No, said Little Rabbit. You must always come to my birthday parties. And so they threw a big birthday party for Little Rabbit and all of his friends, and nobody cried. Look at everybody celebrating wearing birthday hats. Well, almost nobody. Little Rabbit felt very grown up. Being five was wonderful. Did you like the book? I did.